Hello Junior Doctors! Welcome back to Junior Doctor Fiona Chow's YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to continue the series of The Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat by Oliver Sacks, and we are going to discuss about chapter number three, The Disembodied Lady. So in this short story, it's about this really magnificent woman who has two young children and she plays hockey, she rides, she's really healthy. She's never had any like chronic illnesses. She's this really healthy woman named Christina. And she's a really ordinary woman, so there's seemingly nothing to be wrong with her. However, she was diagnosed with gallstones and she has to remove it. And so three days before that operation, she was admitted to the hospital Oliver Sacks worked in. And um, she had this really weird dream of being unsteady on her feet. And um, somehow the next day, um, this dream came true. And she started not being able to feel the actions she does. And without looking at her arm, she wouldn't know where it is. So that was what was really, really weird about her. And that was when Oliver Sacks knew that proprioception, which is the commonly called the sixth sense, her sixth sense was gone. And so what is proprioception? So according to Wittgenstein, there was a quote that really embodies this sixth sense idea that Oliver Sacks quoted before the whole story began and it is the aspects of things that are most important for us are hidden because of their simplicity and familiarity. One is unable to notice something because it is always before one's eyes. The real foundations of his inquiry do not strike a man at all. Okay so before talking about this quote um he is a 20th century philosopher called Ludwig Wittgenstein and he is saying that people don't think twice about their most basic sensations and ideas and they kind of just neglect their sixth sense. They neglect that it's not just the five senses that allow us to perceive the world. It's actually also that sixth sense which allows us to know where our body is and what action we are doing without looking at it. So for instance, my arm is moving around and around right now. And my proprioception, which is also the sixth sense, is allowing me to know where exactly my arm is, like what length it is to my shoulder. I don't have to look at it to know. I know it because of the proprioception that I embody. However, Christina didn't have that. She, before her surgery, she, after she had the dream, she lost her pre proprioception. So um, after that, um, Oliver Sacks really tried to help her um, adapt to this lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It was a really, really hard um, situation because Christina, she isn't used to anything like it. Um, like, just imagine having, being able to be this healthy lady and in a moment's notice, she just became this, um, she didn't know where her body is. She literally could not feel herself. And so it was a really, really hard journey. However, um, after she started understanding and knew how to cope with this different lifestyle. And in the end, it's a really emotional part because um, Christina finally adapted to living without proprioception, which is also the sixth sense. And so that was what made this really story, this story quite emotional. And um, one of the more emotional pieces of this whole book. Now let's analyze or just discuss about these main ideas. So um, I found, like for me, I found one of the more interesting part of this short story was that um, Oliver Sacks didn't, didn't, um, it was so real because he didn't explain how, oh, she got healed in the end, um, she gained her, pro regained her proprioception. Instead, um, he 
explains like how she adapted to it and how even though she wasn't cured she was able to heal um she was able to adapt to this new lifestyle this new lifestyle consisted of not being able to feel herself of being this disembodied lady and i think another part of it was that there was also this part where um she was getting down from a bus and um there were a lot of people behind her and um people rushing around people needed to be somewhere at that time and however because she was this disembodied lady um she didn't know where her feet was so she had to take more time to get off the bus um but people didn't know that because she just looks like an ordinary lady that could that has um the ability to know to be embodied for instance um but that was really really sad and um oliver Sachs, he really he just he put himself in christina's perspective and understood that other people couldn't know that she doesn't have proprioception um and that she has to suffer the consequences of being disembodied yet um being looked down on because people didn't know didn't have the knowledge of her losing the ability of knowing where her arms her legs are and i just found that a really big highlight of this whole story of this whole book even like if we put this back to the lens of um the previous chapter whereas um jimmy g he couldn't feel anything because he didn't have the memory like of like a short-term memory of like what happened like just now and so um oliver Sacks, i found out something that he does really really well in this whole book is that he imagines himself in his patient's perspective and how he would feel if he were to be the patient and i feel like this really embodies the ethicality of this whole book and it that part is what was a really huge highlight for me so i really recommend this book and i'm going to continue talking about the next few chapters so stay tuned for that and remember to Hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Thank you, and see you next time.